All right. New dungeon time. Solomon's going Instagram story wants to send some love my way. Well, thank you. You send my PS5 some love because it won't turn on for some reason. Makes me go. I mean, it won't. Um, it won't uh, display on my TV for some reason. That's annoying. Uh oh. More of them. He's got an enchanted weapon, unfortunately. Maybe just a bad cable, I don't know. And slice. Lock picking skills are too low. What? No. More salt, more bone meal, tattered book. Hmm. Yeah, the PS5 just won't turn on when it's directly connected to the TV, too. Makes me go, hmm. Is it on right now? Yeah, it should be on in safe mode. The light means it's on. Just for some reason, it just won't display on the TV. It's on the right setting and everything. It even turned on the TV when I turned it on. So it's connected. It just won't, nothing will display through. It's weird. Can you give me some more water, madam? Yeah, I can't, I'll figure it out later. I don't know what's going on with it. Do you have two PS5s anyway? No, I have three. Okay, let's go ahead and eat that. I bought one, and then they sent me two free ones. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Yeah, it's on. I turn. It's on safe mode right now, so it should definitely be going through the TV, but it just won't. Um, Kevin, what is a mason wow that wobbles? Looks like a fish and wobbles when you swing it. Oh, it's. Uh, I know what it is, but no, that's definitely worth it. It's worth it. Great investment, Julia. Yeah, good investment. Yeah, I've tried out the both HDMI ports, and it was working fine with the Switch, so it's not that. You tried both cables? What? You tried another cable? No, it might just be the cable, yeah. Maybe it's a shitty cable. I always hate when it's, like, not a good product. See, like... If you have a good product, like, you know, something that has the word, like, like, this is a good product. The new uh, K K65 RGB Mini by Corsair. A nice, form small, form-factor keyboard that you can use just about anywhere. If you just want to have, like, a little keyboard around that the big space of a full-size one, so want all the RGB beautiness of it, check out the K65 RGB Mini keys, uh, keyboard from Corsair at Corsair.com. Use code Dan's Gaming to save 10% and get some free shipping. Thank you. Medieval. 
Hi. Hi, baby. You're so beautiful. Yeah, you're a good girl. Well, come here. Do you need, do you need some pets? You want some pets? Pet you? Did you want some pets? No? You don't want any pets today? <laughs> She's like, nope. Yeah, it's talking to Kevin and Tifa. Bum, 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 bum. Search scroll stack. White Herald cheap. Oh, it's, it's working now. It must have been the cable. Cable must be poo poo. There it go. Oh, thank you. It's working. I didn't do anything. I just switched the cable. Yeah. I'm going to throw this cable out, though, so we won't use it. I think, I think that cable was just bad. And it was so fancy looking, too. What happens? Yeah, sometimes fancy does not mean it's good. I'm sorry about that. Okay. What is over this way? What's the story so far? Um, so far, the story is we what we crashed on a ship and crashed on a ship. And then we nearly died, but when we we got visions of something, I can't remember. It was very convoluted, and then because um, you know how visions are. And then now we are in the new world and we're, um, I mean, a new continent. And now we're like exploring it and trying to figure out what, what our visions mean. Okay, I'm going to get the uh, PS4 version of Resident Evil downloading. Resident Evil Village gameplay. Demo. Okay, I'll get that one downloaded. And this Maiden demo downloaded as well. So strange how it's like, this demo is only available during this hours on these days. Okay. Well. Okay, let's see what other quests we have. I think we'll just go back to the Myriad and then teleport back. Mm -hmm -hmm. Looks like the rest of those uh, artifacts are in some really tough areas. Dancing Nomad Eventualities. Yeah, some of these are very, very good. How about that one? Wanted an Ark. Well, that one's... 
That one's quite a ways down that way, but we can get to it. I want to do the thing. Uh, the reply system is cool because it just replaces the thing you were already doing, which is t at when you type at somebody, like you were already doing it. It just makes it fancier. So instead of typing at Metal Gundam, you can type someone. You, you, it just shows a little bit of a fancier version of that. And you can te keep track of uh, who you're talking to and stuff. Yeah, so that way you can like keep track of the thread. Let's say two people are talking about which anime waifu is best, and then like they could keep that conversation all together. <laughs> Potion of woe. Whoa. Let me put all the stolen stuff in here. It can track how much of my money has been stolen? That's a BS. Of course, I'm the best anime waifu, but, you know. We'll let the others have, you know, their 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 chance to win the votes. <laughs> Stained mushroom. That sounds like a dirty mushroom. Pit shelter. I don't want to do it in case it's part of a quest. I don't want to save those for quests. Is there anything you're bad at? Yes, being bad. I'm too good to be bad. A random skeleton recipe ambrosia. Uh-oh. Rabid Fox? Well, that's his problem. He picked that fight. Uh -oh. I hear him. Oh. Take it. Got him. Bear claw and belt. Good. Ice claw. Hmm. Hey, Kevin. Can you hand me one of them beers? I want to see if they're any good. Can you give me one of those beers? And drink some beer. Cause you know, Dan brother. Hell yeah, brother. Tight Dan brother. Have a beer. And can I have a little bit of a hug? I shook it up nice and good for you. You shook it? Well, then I gotta do the. <laughs> So, um, I got Voodoo Ranger IPA from Outriders, and we'll see if it's any good. Now, can you get me a glass? Kind of want to see what it looks like before I drink it. Ba, 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 ba. This one's fine. Thank you, sweetie. Alright, let's see. IPA, we'll see if this is any good. <laughs> That's beer. 
Okay. You can you sit there and watch. No, you don't have to go away. Go go back. Go back where you are. Okay. Sorry for the smell. Woo! That is a flavorful one. That's got a lot of flavors in it. Okay. Oh. Oh, it smells like the crotch of a mandarin. A mandarin orange. You know, like if a mandarin orange had a crotch, I'd imagine that's what it smelled like. It's very fruity, but has like a funk to it. Not bad. <laughs> well, the thing is with IPAs, if you drink enough of it, it all it all tastes the same. It tastes just fine. It's a IPA, a custom-made IPA, and it's very... Uh, it's not bad. It's just gonna take a, a few sips to get used to it. <laughs> no, it's okay. <sighs> oh, oh, man. Take that. Run away, prisoner. No, it's fine. It's okay. It's, it's great. Silver ring, old vagrant hood, iron ore, pennies underneath there. Oh my god! Ah. I can freaking see it. Oh, hello. Oh, he's coming for me, so I gotta be careful here. Just a scratch. Yeah, I can't drink this. This is it's very bitter. It's very fruity. It is just not not for me. Ah. Ah. Kevin hated it too. I, I can't. I need the the taste is stuck in my mouth. Oh. Oh, I just I I tried. Sometimes you need a couple sips of a beer to really like it, but ugh. That was. Oh god, the, the taste is still in there. I could taste it all over. <sighs> okay. Dun, 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 dun. Well, these people are dead because I killed them. God, what alchemy workbench? Oh, hello. Ha! Gotcha, sir. 
Guess he won a little bit of this action. Okay, there's still someone else in here. Gotta find them. Looks like they're above me. Probably up. Never should have come here. Tattered book. Some lock picks that I can't use right now. Yeah, if you could burn that, that'd be great. Oh, oh. Girl, I'm trying to run to you. Oh, she's a frost mage. Oh my god, she's a frost mage. Oh, oh, okay. Nope, nope. Okay, make them come to me. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the IPAs can be good, but that was not for me. Very fruity. Where did that bastard go? Okay, saving. No. She. The phrasing is like absolutely killing me. more ma'am I can't move with you constantly shooting me with frost and slowing me down I chose violence. God, I that the flavor of the IPA is all over my mouth and it is not pleasant. Oh, it is not a good flavor that I want in my mouth right now. It is Dan Ew. Type Dan E W W. Water is helping slightly, but not much, because it's just water. The flavor of the thing is so strong, and it's so prominent in my mouth. Uh, well, I'll have to go get some good beer later and have that sometime, but for now, yeah. Yingling? I've had Yingling before. Yingling's pretty good. They brought that to Ohio before. That I could handle. Angry Orchard? Eh, that's okay, but... Fuck me, but it's open slack. Yep. Oh, um... Hello? Sir? Could you open the door so I could strike you in the head with my axe? Sir? 
Please. Please. Um, hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Mmm. Mmm, that's delicious. Twenty-five pennies, I'll take it. Soul trap chest. Pennies brosia. Kevin gave me a little bit of coffee to help burn away the flavor of the beer. That was... Ugh. Rock shelter. Hmm. What is up here? more take that uh, just follow the link of the exclamation point mod command and you can um, just one click install if you own it on Steam up here it's like a little nook i love nooks but not the ones from barnes and noble i hated selling those they were terrible all well, people bought them and they didn't know how the technology worked You ever have to explain to old people how technology works? It's fun. Especially like your parents and stuff or your grandparents. You're like, okay, I don't know what you just said, but none of that is a thing. Um, this is how technology really works nowadays. Nook over here. I didn't see that one before. It's got to be some way to that guy from behind. Oh, hello. I heard something. Okay. Save. Thank you, ma'am. Was that it? Prophet's ass. Someone's out there. Oh no, it's a mage. Okay. Oh god. Gotcha. Freaking mage. Dun, dun, dun. There's only one proper mage around these parts. It's not me, I'm a berserker, but so I'm sure there's someone. It's not him. He's dead. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I have this as one notch above regular difficulty. Because uh, I think it's a good balance. Because you don't want to do it too high or too low. So if you do it too high, you'll get one shot. Do it too low, you start... You never get... You never die. No, nothing ever dies. Who will, who will, what? Who's gonna like what, ma'am? Take that! Oh! Putting your ice spikes in me? The hell you think you are? I am Lord Dan S. Gaming. <sighs> the disrespect that I get from the people in these caves that I am murdering to take their loot. Applebee's too narrow for you. you can you can up it manually. That's changeable in game. I need to eat some meat. Ah! 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 Oh, I'm on the side of him now. Oh. Freaking mage. Thank you, sweetheart. You're such a good person. Improve barter prices on of the target for 15 seconds by 7% unless you are discovered casting the spell. A high skill level on silence enhances the effect 1% per point. Hmm. Small backpack. That's a cool idea for a spell. Sneak spells, you don't want to get caught casting because they're illegal. It's all this cave. Uh oh, hello. Just a scratch. No, it's not. You're freaking dead. Oh. Oh. Kratos is Dedos. He's got some cheese wheels. Made circlet elixir. Staff of grounding. I chopped his freaking head off. He is so dead. Taking that chest. Just a leather shield. <sighs> I guess um, he's no longer the head of this gang anymore. Here, although right here in front of me on the left should be an exit. Yep, right there. Yep. That is not how you get ahead in life. Lucky. So tired of these damn mages. Dicey, dicey. Is this game scary? Um, no more scary than Skyrim is, I would say. 
you found Skyrim terrifying, then about as scary as that. But everyone has different fears. Some people are, some people are afraid of bears, uh, spiders, monsters, bad gas. Um, some people are afraid of commitment. A better X. Did you guys kill this adventurer? So rude. Scared an arrow FOV? Well, if you want to change it, just go FOV 90 if you want. I think it's a little too big for Skyrim, so I do FOV 85. Or you can even go FOV 120 if you want a really big FOV. Woo! I think 85 is a good, the good balance between modern and what the engine's capable of. Or we could do FOV 360. Oh my god, I can look in all directions at once. Oh so my god, I'm a spider. Fair parts, a song. Oh, what what was that last one? Ooh. Random stash in there. Search Lucky Duck. Doesn't sound very lucky. Take this road left, we'll get back to the city, and then we could turn in our quest. Yeah, they have a whole custom soundtrack too. But we won't you won't hear any let me tell you about Ragnar the Red. <laughs> or let me tell you about Skyrim's stalwart protectors, the Stormcloud. You there? Yes, you. Can you spare a moment for him? He would be very grateful. Who would? Well, he. Kermai Kazor Tataka Jape. What do you need? Your help. Tell him, do you have good eyes? I think so, but I think my teas are better. Good. Very good. Let him cut to the chase. He is in dire need of eggs. Lots of eggs. And he wants you to help him. You're a starling, aren't you? 
A half starling, yes. But unfortunately, he's not from Anku, if that's what you would have asked next. Which is something he really regrets. This world, it's so dirty, so loud. But, well, what can you do? One is what one is. Life is like a box of chocolates. This sounds like an unusual task. It is, indeed. The eggs he is looking for are hard to come by. Do you see those brown hammer birds circling over the heartland? In many other countries, such as Nerim or Kira, their hatchlings are brought up to be letter birds. He wants to raise such letter birds for a special purpose. So, what do you say? Will you help an old starling? The ancient fathers would thank you for it. He's sure of that. Why don't we just let her be and leave her alone? Zazu with the brand new Prime Gaming sub. What's going to be your first? Damn brother. Oh, right away. Didn't have to ask. That's our brother right there, everybody. Type damn brother. What special purpose exactly? Oh, that's hard to explain. He doubts you would understand. But it has to do with our lost home, the Star City. Uh, thank you very, very, very for the brand new sub as well. What's going to be your first sub emote? And Kim Jong Merkel with the 10 month resub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Your lost home. Yes, the place we starlings come from and where we are destined to return to eventually. Don't you know the stories? There's a city far up in the sky, and all the worldly suffering doesn't exist there. But this is no place to talk about that. There are books which could explain our prophecies a lot better than he ever could. Whoever these ancient fathers are, I doubt their, their things would be much of use to me. Do you think you have something more solid? <sighs> You're talking about coin. Yes, yeah. yes he does. And provided you bring him what he needs, he would have given them to you anyway. Well, yeah, better. Alright, uh, hammer bird eggs understood. Where exactly can I find them? Well, that is the part where your good eyes come into play. All you need to do is follow the movements of the birds flying above the sea here and in its vicinity. Eventually, they will return to their nests, and that's where you can find the eggs. Just come back once you've found a good handful or more. He will wait for your return. If I want a good handful, I'll find your wife. Oh, I'm sorry. That's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. That's sorry. He doesn't have a wife. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, let me see. Very, 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 very. Oh, hasn't chosen an email yet. That's fine. Are you the first streamer from Justin TV slash Twitch? No, um, but I did start a long, long, long time ago. I think the site was around for a good year or so before I started. <laughs> Momo Gundra. An outlander. Isn't this nice? Ahoy. Ahoy. Hmm. Ahoy. Ahoy. Mateys. Oh, I see some right there. I see a nest chilling right there. Ahoy. Ahoy. Hammerbird egg. Are there any others? How many did he want? Five. Okay, um... He's, is he gonna go land on his nest? There he goes. 
Once you land on the one I'm next to. Okay, one is up here. I thought he was flying to something, but let's see. Okay, he's flying over there. Boom, got him. <laughs> yeah, the first streamer on Justin TV was Justin. It was a 24 hour live stream of just a, a guy named Justin. It's followed around 24 7. Be over there. Yep. It, it was like a reality show type thing, and it was semi popular, but not, then they decided to let other people stream on the site. And then eventually it became decently popular, and then the gaming section started blowing up, and they decided to man, we got all these illegal st streams happening over here. And we have all these legal or gray areas uh, game streams over here. What if we split them, split the site in two, and have the gaming section be Twitch, and the everything else be Justin TV? And what's funny is they're bringing back Justin TV. They're on to Twitch again. They're going full circle with the. Uh, creative streams the the people in hot tubs showing their breasts to young gentlemen um, all that stuff will used to be on Justin TV okay where are the other eggs Yeah, it's weird watching it go full circle. Even sports. Sports used to be huge on Justin TV. And then now sports are back on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to get a fondue pot and do a hot tub stream where we fondue some stuff. What are sports? Something that you and I will never be good at. But that's okay. Now, is this one... Is this one of them? I need him to land. Okay, one, two. I think this one goes to that one. That one goes to that one. How many? Should be two more of those birds somewhere else. I think I have... Okay, I need two more. I only see three birds. There's gotta be two more somewhere. Okay, there's, I see one over that way. And another one. Where 
Where's your nest, buddy? Go to your nest so I can take your babies. <laughs> By the way, um, where did these gender reveal parties come from? Because when I was a kid, there wasn't like a gender reveal party. Like this thing is like a new new fad. When did those start and who started them and why? Why can't you just tell someone, hey, it's a boy or a girl? And nowadays, um, they're apparently lighting explosives to at these things instead of slicing a cake. Someone in the past week ignited eight, 80 pounds of explosives at a gender reveal party in a, gra in a gravel pit and caused massive damage and cracked a bunch of people's homes or the foundation of their homes over there they did 80 pounds of explosives they broke p water pipes they shook the, like the explosion could be heard for miles and miles away. Hello. <laughs> Hammerbird egg, perfect. Yeah, uh, and the. Wasn't it last year that a gender reveal party like caused a massive wildfire that burned down many homes in California? It started a massive fire. Yeah, it's like if you want to cut open a cake and like see a color, like that's that's fun. it's fine, whatever. And all these explosives that are happening now, it's like, really? Why? Alright, well, I got the eggs for this guy. You better give me a nice reward. The fire raged for weeks and destroyed many homes, yes. But it's a girl! Oh my god! Shepherd man. Watch yourself. The streets aren't safe this time of the day. What, broad daylight? Okay. So, any luck? I found these. They look like the ones you're after? Yes, that's them. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. Here, you have earned yourself that. Now, he only has to... Yes, that should do it. Say, friend, would you be willing to help him a little further? Depending on how well the breeding of these eggs goes, he would like to experiment with other breeds, too. Fire finches, leaf gulls, and peak dashes, to call them by name. Bring him their eggs, too, and you will be rewarded. Uh, that might take a while, though. Yes, he knows, but he will wait here for you. Good luck, and thank you. Oh my god, that's so many. So many things. Thanks for all the eggs. Now please go out into the wilderness and collect me many more eggs from all over the damn place. Yes? No. Hello. Um, you sure get around and we learn anything that might come in handy for an adventurer? An adventurer, huh? I suppose that depends on how daring you are. 
An old fellow in the Red Ox Inn told me about some kind of well up in the North Wind that's supposed to talk. Pathless magic, they say. I've got no intentions to become fodder for the wolves, so I haven't checked yet. But you might be more lucky than me. Um... Have you learned anything else? That's a good question. Yeah, Let me think. I'm not sure if this helps, but an innkeeper told me lately that because of the Red Madness, very few prospectors are bold enough to go to the Shadow Steel Mines in the Powder Desert anymore. If you have the smithing skills and want to find some precious ore, you should check one of the mines there. Okay. May his light guide you. May his air waft oh, your w worries. I beg your pardon. Oh, come on. Don't you think I see how you're slaving away? You can hardly put one foot before the other. Look how exhausted you are. I'm just fat. And this armor. Whew, it must weigh tons. Yeah, a little bit. Thank Malphys, I have just the right thing for you. A way to ease your travels. A mount. And you know what? Today's your lucky day. If you agree to help me out with a little problem of mine, I'll give you one for free. What kind of problem? <sighs> Gnarled off. A troll. A troll? For two months now, every night, I've been hearing this horrible, bloodthirsty grunting near the farm. The guard says I'm only imagining it, but trust me, I've seen enough of the world to know troll noises when I hear them. When it all started, the grunting came from back in the forest, but it's gotten closer each night, and I'm sure that thing's out for my animals. Ma'am, could you sweep somewhere else? So, what do you say? You kill Nardal for me, and in return, you will get one of my very best donkeys for free. Whirlwind. And believe me, he lives up to his name. What the heck does that name come from? Nardolf. What? That doesn't ring a bell. Nardolf? As in, THE Nardolf? From the fairy tale, The Seraph and the Beast. Considering how horrible the grunting sounds, that name seemed fitting to me. But call him what you want. It doesn't matter. As long as you kill him. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Any ideas how I can find him? Oh, that should be pretty easy. Just wait until shortly after midnight and then scout the area. Eventually, you'll hear that grunting I told you about. Then just find out where it comes from. And needless to say, be careful. You look like you can take care of yourself. Otherwise, I wouldn't have asked. But these beasts are not to be underestimated. An obvious miser, please. The Lord will redeem you for your kindness. Ma'am, you get nothing. Yes? Price is wrong. Let's go to the temple, I think. Who are you? Well met. Nothing. Under the city, deep in the caves, he waits for us, the black guardian. She can sing pretty well. Caught sight of him, live to tell about it. 